Lexi turned into aliens! We've come to abduct you, Wudo. We're gonna take you back to our alien planet and eat you! I don't wanna be eaten! I just want my friends back! Turn around, Wudo! If you want us back, you need to fix our alien UFO in five minutes! Or else you die. But your UFO has a huge hole in it. And it looks like the inside is a huge mess. This is completely useless, guys. Well, I guess we have no choice but to cook you alive. Get in, Mongo. Come here, Wudo. Oh, gosh, please don't eat me. Okay, okay. If you guys want to eat something from Earth, how about I get you this very rare mob instead? Dead. It's called a cow. And you aliens love eating cows all the time. A cow? Why would aliens like eating cows? Those things don't look that delicious. I think we have a better idea. Oh, please don't tell me it's humans and turtles. Well, we just need to make the enclosure just like this. And you'll see the types of things we like. This is one of my favorite foods. What the heck is that thing? Why does it look like a giant moving mustache? Ew, it gives me the tangles. Don't hurt it, Wudo. I haven't made it into noodles yet. This is another food we eat on our planet. Oh, yeah. This one is delicious. What the heck are these things, guys? I think I would much rather eat these cows instead of whatever those are. But if this is what you aliens like... Like, that's fine. What do they drink? How do we make sure they don't die on planet Earth? You need to make sure they have food and water, Wudo. Hurry up and put the cauldrons down. Okay, well, does this weird mob eat this liquid? No, Wudo. It doesn't eat that liquid. Let me just get its favorite food. Oh, gosh. What is that? This looks like giant poop on a plate. This is like the worst alien food ever, guys. Uh, you earth creatures are so annoying. So I'm gonna make something that definitely puts you in your place. Uh, what would that be? Let's just say it's gonna be a little exhibition inside of our UFO to show all the different accomplishments we have. Accomplishments? Like as aliens? What do aliens even do? You guys just try to scare people all the time. We don't just scare people. We tell on people, Wudo. Exactly. Here are the bodies of some of the humans we tested on earlier. Oh my gosh, wait, what? How did you guys get these innocent people? I thought we were just playing video games like yesterday. And now you guys are really weird aliens. Look at this one. It even tried to escape, but we put arrows into it. Okay, you know what? This is going way too far, you guys. I need to remind you of who you really are. You're not super weird and creepy aliens. You guys are my best friends. So the only way that I'm going to be able to show you what the real world is like is if I make a little exhibit of my own. And it's going to showcase the greatest mob ever. Turn on! Ooh, what kind of food do you make with turtles? You know what? This is a great idea. If you have an area for the turtles, then they'll come on board and we can abduct them too. Wait, what, guys? They're not for abducting. They're for looking at and talking about how cute they are. Check it out. Turtles live in a sandy environment. I don't know if your guys' planet uses this type of stuff, but it feels really weird on your feet. I don't like it. I bet these turtles are super lame. They're not lame. What do you mean? They look super duper adorable. So what I'm going to do is grab a nice green fence that matches their color to make sure that they don't escape. And then I can place them all down. Look over here, Axie. I just found some turtle eggs. What do you say we step on them? Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh my gosh, 
Don't do that! Those are innocent turtles! You cannot do mean things to those poor baby turtles, you guys! How would you feel if someone crunched on you guys if you were small? No one can crunch on aliens. We'll crunch on them first. Oh, gosh. Okay, fine. Well, guess what? I just put down all these fences. So now there's a bunch of cute turtles you can look at. And most importantly, I can put other things that turtles love too. Like sandcastles. Why don't you guys try playing with them? We don't play around, Wudo. Although I do want to do some more research on these turtles. What do these turtles like to eat, huh? Well, turtles like to eat seagrass. Do you guys want to try the seagrass and see if it tastes better than eating humans? Seagrass? Let us try that seagrass. Oh, what is that thing? Is that a moving alien? Are you trying to poison us? Wait, what? I'm not trying to poison you. It's just grass moving in the water currents, guys. Are you dumb? No, no, no. I need to take out this so-called seagrass. It must burn. What in the world are you guys doing? You're burning the turtles, too. I wonder if they taste good cooked, or should I just eat one raw? Don't eat it yet, Axie. We need to experiment on the turtle, and we need to make it into an alien. So come on, let's make an alien lab. Wait, what? You guys are gonna experiment on the turtle? Why don't you experiment on your own weird alien creatures? Look, I just spawned in a whole family for you to test on. We've already tested on those, Woodo. That's why they look like that. Oh, gosh. I don't want turtles to look creepy. Well, you better come over here if you want to save yourself from looking like that. Uh, oh, gosh. You guys said that you were going to build a lab, right? Well, let me try to help you guys build a human lab. That way, you can try to make good things like medicines and stuff so people can feel healthy and be happy. What does healthy mean? Yeah, and we don't want a human lab. Humans are super duper dumb. Wait, what? No, they're not dumb. You guys are dumb. Tell me, what's 2 plus 2, huh? 2 plus 2 is 4 minus 2. What in the world did you just say, Mongo? That was like the dumbest thing ever. Maybe you guys need a math lesson. Let me just put these whiteboards up here. And can you tell me what 5 plus 3 is? Who do you think you're calling dumb? And also, 5 plus 3 is 7. Mongo, you are so stupid! 5 plus 3 is literally eight everyone comment that manga is super dumb as an alien i'm not dumb Udo. call us dumb one more time and we'll see how dumb we are when you're in our stomach oh gosh okay i'm sorry guys jeez i won't call you dumb anymore i was just trying to say that maybe you aliens need a school and i don't even know how you'll be able to figure out all these weird potions and stuff you need to be a genius for that. Aliens don't learn by being in school, Wudo. Aliens learn by standing in this test tube and absorbing the information into our brains. Absorbing the information? What does that mean? Well, when we capture a human, we extract all their knowledge and put it into our heads instead. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I don't like the sound of that because when humans are injured and need attention, well, we do is put them on a hospital bed like this and then they can get surgery or they can get medicine to make them feel all better again that doesn't seem very useful why do you not just get rid of people who need help Let's not do that, Axie. We can just experiment on them. Come here, Wudo. Oh, gosh. What are you guys going to do to me? I don't want to be experimented on. Quick, everyone subscribe before Mongo and Axie do something to me. What's this subscribe? Take this. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Why do I feel like this? And, huh, Mongo, Axie? You guys turned me Good job, Mongo. Now the turtle looks even more delicious.
Let me just go get my alien tools to eat him, Axie. Alien tools? What do you mean, alien tools? You guys are not gonna eat me. And wait a second. I think Mongo just dropped this weird secret alien book as he was walking away. Let me just quickly hide behind here and read what it says. Keep secret. Steps to turn aliens back to humans. Oh my gosh. This is exactly what I need. Let me just read the first page. It says... Find where the aliens make their potions. Oh, wait a second. It's right over there. And it looks like Axie's actually working on them right now. Okay, you know what? I'm definitely going to have to keep this book because there's a lot of steps. But if I get all of them, I can turn them back to normal. What are you muttering about, Rudo? Do you want me to test this poison on you? Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. How about instead of testing poison, I let you guys test as something that's human. You see, when humans get fat like me, it's because they eat a lot of delicious food. So maybe what I can do is show you guys some delicious human food and maybe you'll like it more than alien food and you won't have to eat humans anymore. I don't know, Wudo. I brought my special alien knife to cut you up. Oh no, please don't use your alien knife on me, guys. I think you will love this human food, but just to make it a little bit more alien themed, how about I grab some trees from your guys' alien civilization? How did you get the saplings from our civilization, human? Are you saying you invaded our planet before? Um, no, of course not. Take a look at this, guys. It's just for decoration. Does it remind you of back home? Actually, it does remind me of home. To feel more at home, I'm gonna spawn in my favorite animal too oh my gosh wait what these look so adorable axie how come you guys don't eat these but you want to eat everything else oh we do eat these after they grow big and fat these are just the babies exactly okay all right fine guys i should have never asked about that but what i want to ask you guys is how you guys want to eat your food i assume you want something super Super duper fancy. And luckily, I'm a professional at doing that. I want something raw and fleshy. You don't really look like a professional to me. Oh, gosh. Come on, guys. You know I'm a professional builder. I'm your guys' friend. So check this out. I have this beautiful seating arrangement over here where you guys will enjoy your human dinner. Now I can put a couple extra trees over here, too, to decorate it and make it even more alien themed. But Wudo, the trees don't look like that in our home area. The leaves go out like this. Exactly, and then they go out like this. What the heck are you guys doing? That's not good. You guys are making this tree look like a giant cactus. You know what? That's okay. What I'm just gonna do instead is start working on Wudo's delicious kitchen where I make all my delicious food. What? What? animals do you make your food out of? Well, I try not to actually use any of them at all. What I like to bake is something called a cake. A cake? That sounds like a delicious animal. Well, actually, Axie, it was your most favorite food ever. And usually people who eat a lot of cake get really fat like me. So do you guys want to give it a try? I mean, we can try it, but are you sure it's not going to kill us? Of course it's not going to kill you guys. Come on, just sit down. And then what I can do is I can even grab a cup of delicious water for you guys. Here you go. Enjoy. What is water? I only drink Yeah, Flabalaroi is so good. What in the world is that? That sounds terrible. Come on, just try eating the cake. Let's see what happens to you guys. All right. Um, guys, what just happened to you? This doesn't look like a normal alien reaction. Why do you look like that? Wait a second. This was poison. He's trying to kill us. Oh, gosh. No, I wasn't trying to kill you. I just wanted to see if you liked human cooking. But it looks like aliens have allergies. Ha-ha. <laughs> 
Are you serious, Wood? Oh, feed us something else right now. Right now. Okay, okay, cheese. I will feed you something else. Maybe what you aliens will like to eat instead are some delicious cookies. They're my favorite treat, at least. That's why I'm so fat. Cookies? These kind of look like flesh. Wait, no, they don't look like flesh. But what also does look like flesh is pizza. It's also a very popular human food. Everyone should comment right now what your favorite food is. And then I can try feeding it to Mongo and Axie. What is in this pizza? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of our homeland food called Debrato. Well, guys, it actually has a ingredients like pepperoni and vegetables and dough and a bunch of other tasty stuff. What I can even also add is a delicious hamburger and a hot dog. Why don't you guys try snacking on all these foods and telling me what you think about them? Mmm, interesting. Sure, Wudo. Let me just try this. What did you do to us, human? Wudo, you poisoned us again. Oh my gosh, look at you guys you look even goofier than before okay i'm really sorry guys no need to have your knife out just leave me alone oh, feed us something good right now or we're gonna eat you exactly okay fine i think i know something random that maybe you guys will like and it's something called cheese and luckily there's plenty of it what do you guys think of this oh cheese i love I love cheese! This cheese is mine! 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 I'll fight you over the cheese! All right, let's fight! Wait, what in the world? You guys like cheese that much? Well, I actually was gonna build a whole supply of cheese over here that you guys can have, but you have to come get it if you want it! Cheese! I want cheese! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! Mongo and X, you're distracted! This is the perfect chance for me to check my book and see what the next thing I need to make them better is. And oh, it's the alien's favorite food! Let's go! I guess what I'll do is I'll go ahead and store some cheese over here so that I can use it later to make the potion that'll turn Mongo and Axie back to normal! You you stole my cheese, Mongo! I'm gonna kill you! Uh, I'm gonna kill you first! Oh no! They're actually gonna kill each other! This is really bad! So what I need to do is come up with a way to entertain my alien friends so they don't go ballistic! And I know what entertainment I personally love! TV! So why don't I build a big TV here? And then what Mongo and Axie can do is watch my videos and be nice and calm! I'd rather you eat my arm, Mongo, then steal the cheese. That way I can eat more cheese. Go on, eat my arm. I'm gonna eat it then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, guys. I think I have something for you all to chillax with and enjoy some delicious cheese. Check this out. This is a human television where you can watch videos like mine. And if you're on a TV right now, everyone comment TV. Interesting. Do you make videos about eating earth people? Or do you make videos about eating turtles? I don't make videos about any of that stuff. I make videos about you guys. So let me go ahead and try putting one on the TV right now. And uh-oh, wait a second. There's a problem. The TV's not working. Wait alien TV shows. Oh my gosh, this clearly doesn't have any connection. Well, that's not my fault. Maybe it's because your guys' UFO is so trash and it can't connect to your alien planet. No, we want to get in contact with our alien planet. We need a communication system. You're right. Come help us, turtle, or we'll eat you. Oh gosh, I can't believe a stick axolotl alien is telling me to do this. How are the world do i even build a communication area for you guys do you need like a big antenna or something that's 
That's easy. Just put the flabberty gas over here and then put the blabberty blabberty over here and then you connect them with the thermometer. You can't forget the chickity chockity. What the heck is that stuff? You guys need to build the computers to contact people. What I'm going to do is just build the antenna and the beacons so that you guys can contact your alien planet and maybe tell them to pick you up because you guys are starting to annoy me. Oh, this guy just doesn't understand. He's talking a bunch of giggity gagara. Oh, I hate giggity gagara. What the heck are they saying right now? My friends are actually crazy, but hopefully they'll be able to communicate with their aliens back home so that I don't have to deal with them anymore. Hurry up with the flabberty flabberty. Yes, you're taking too long, you jibbity jabbity. Okay, okay, guys. Look, I added all the jibbity flabberties, whatever the heck you call it, right over here. Is this a good enough connection to reach your guys' planet now? Those gibbity gobbers aren't good enough, Wudo. We need a place for my computers so we can contact the gibbity dibbities. Uh, what in the world are you talking about? You aliens have computers like laptops? Do you think we're stuck in the 1800s? Seriously, human technology is way worse than alien technology. Where do you think you got computers from? Um, humans definitely made computers themselves, Axie. But you know what? I guess I'll go ahead and build you guys some of your gibbity gabbity computers. I just have to go in here real quick and grab all of these and check it out. I put down some gaming chairs for you guys. And now you can play Minecraft and Roblox. Hey, we're not here to play games. We're here to contact the gibbity gabbaras. You know what, Axie? I've had enough of this guy. Shubara, 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 shubara. What, what the heck are you doing with these telescopes? Where did these come from? I found them. They're some weird human version of flippity scobbities, but they don't seem to work very well. Man, I really want some gibbity gobbities right now. Okay, all right, fine. I'll go ahead and give you guys what you need to do that exactly, Mongo. If you want to talk to your alien friends back at home, you need a microphone. So let me go ahead and put a nice big microphone and speaker over here so you can talk to the other aliens now that we're connected to your flibbity flabbities. Hmm, interesting. This is some gibbity gobbity technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you guys are talking about sounds so weird. But look, there's plenty of microphones so they can hear every single particle about what you weird aliens are talking about. I just have to put another mini speaker in the middle here so you guys can hear them back. And okay, it's ready to go. I'm going to test it out first. Three, two, one. Hey, don't talk like that. You don't have any respect for the alien language. Get out of here, you chubby turtle. Yeah, are you trying to make fun of us? No, we're not. Come on, go ahead and try talking to the aliens. I want to see how you guys sound. All right, then. What in the world? What are you guys telling your alien friends back at home right now? Oh, uh, we're just telling them to come down here so we can abduct all the humans. And that there's a nice little fat turtle for us to eat together. Oh, gosh, no. How about you guys just continue talking to your weird alien friends while I uh, figure out how the computers work? <laughs> all right, you better hurry. Hurry up. Jibbity dobbity cheese cheese cheese. Ah, blah, 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 cheese. Uh, cheesy cheese cheese. What in the world? Mongo and Axie sound like they're both continuously saying cheese. Let me check the secret alien book real quick. I know where they made the potions and I have cheese and oh, step three, speak the alien language. Well, that's perfect. I know how to speak the alien language now. What about cheese cheese? What the hell are you doing? Turtle. How in the world do you know what that word is? Oh, gosh. Well, I just heard you guys saying it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Bye, guys.
guys? Oh, oh, oh gosh, that was really close. They almost caught me. I need to go back to this book and see what the last thing is and oh, special items that aliens put in their rooms. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask Mongo and Axie what valuables aliens have so that I can become rich on Earth. Let me go and ask them real quick. Oh gosh, what do you want now? Well, I feel really bad for making fun of the aliens when I was talking to them. So I have a gift for you guys and the humans call it a bedroom. I want to make you guys the biggest place where you can sit down, sleep, and store all your valuable belongings. Mmm, <laughs> very nice. A place to put our valuable belongings? I definitely needed that. Uh, Hold on one second. What are you building over here? What is this supposed to be? Boing, boing, boing. Whoa, well, this is a bed. Don't you guys sleep in a bed on your alien planet? No, we usually just float in the air and just take a nap. Or we sleep in cryo tanks. Cryo tanks? What the heck is that? Oh, yeah, cryo tanks. I forgot about that. These things are meant for us aliens. It's basically like a tube like design. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll build you guys a giant tank. But what's that whole cryo part mean? It means that if we want, we can stay asleep in here for thousands of years. We were actually born in the year 300. What in the world? world? Oh, nah. You aliens have been around for way too long. You guys are like 800 billion years old. The math is wrong. I'm 2,348 years old. Oh, no. Nah. That is still too old. How about you guys just go and take a nap and never bother me again? No, I'm not taking a nap for the next flippity gobbity years. Exactly. And you said you were going to make a place for my belongings. So hurry up and make it. Okay, fine. Well, guess what? Us humans on Earth like to put our belongings in something called a nightstand. You put this next to your bed and put all your valuable stuff on it. So, uh, you guys should do that. Are you supposed to stand on this nightstand? No! You're supposed to put your stuff. I'll give you an example. Check it out. I have a cute little turtle plushie I'm putting here. Oh, interesting example you presented. Well, I can just place these down and put this one inside. What in the world is that? That is a unicorn floaty. That's not a valuable. Hey, that's my favorite toy. Oh my gosh. You're literally wearing one right now. Embarrassing. Wait, so turtle, if I were to put my valuables here, I would put my light next to the bed? Wait, what is that thing? Is that some alien magic? What is it? It's just a light. Every alien has one next to their bed so they can see at night. Oh, yeah. This is the flibbity dobbity light. Oh, gosh. Wait a second. This might be the valuable thing that I need to make the potion. But I have to steal it without Mongo and Axie noticing. Uh, I can look at this light all day. It reminds me of home and of eating humans. Hey, guys. Don't aliens have wardrobes so they can store all their alien clothes too? Maybe you guys should go make one all the way over here. Wait, that's a great idea. For such a dumb turtle, you're pretty smart. Now get out of here so we can concentrate. Oh, gosh. Okay, fine. Yes, they're distracted. This is good. Now what I can do is I can take this magical light. Boom, here we go. I think I finally got the power to place it anywhere. And whoa, this light looks so magical. Now let me see what's on the last page. I already know where they make their potions, the food, the language, and the stuff they need. So let me just go put it next to this area, and boom, look at all the different stuff I have. There's only one last thing that I need before I can go and save my friends. Hey, we're almost done. Hey, turtle, what are you doing with all those lights? Did you touch them? Uh, uh, touch them? No, I didn't touch anything. <laughs> um, guys, check this out. I have a really cool car I want to show you. You. It's like human technology. Wow, cool car. What is this car? Get out so I can get in. Hold on a second. How does this car operate? What type of engine does it use? And best of all, is it turbocharged? Oh my gosh, these aliens are so...
so dumb. I distracted them so good. Um, yeah, no, they have a bunch of weird engine technology and whatnot. And wait, speaking of engines, don't you guys need an engine to make this UFO move? It's gonna be stuck here forever, you know. You know what? You're right. Hurry up and make us the engine room. Okay, okay. You guys got it. Let me just quickly go ahead and grab a nice big engine over here. And hopefully what happens is that my friends give me the last thing I need to turn them back to normal. Here you go, aliens. I just have to put these blocks over here like this. And this is how you build a proper UFO engine. Well, it's not complete yet. Uh... Wait, what? How is it not complete? I think this looks amazing. Now the UFO should be able to move in. Hey, yo, why are there toilets over here? To power the engine, of course. How do you humans power things if you're not pooping everywhere? Exactly. Watch this. A you guys are literally pooping out slime. What is wrong with you? Well, that isn't the only thing we do. We also use farts. Uh, farts? What do you mean you use farts in? Oh, gosh. What is that? Uh, Ew. Are you guys farting into the engine? <gasps> Hold on a second. I need to check my book real quick. If I just go to the very last page, it says that I need the best alien energy source and it's farts and alien poop. You know what? I guess I should just take this then and try to make my potion. Hey, what did you just steal from us? Are you serious? Did we really catch you stealing? Oh, no, no, no. I gotta do this quick. Let me just grab a brewing stand and what I'm I'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it right here and now let me get everything i need to make this concoction i have to go throw in a giant cheese block just like this a giant piece of alien poop and then also add the magical lights all around it and then i need to say the secret alien word that they were talking about here it goes nothing mongo axie i'm turning you back into human are you ready <laughs> like that's gonna work yeah and once you fail, we're gonna eat you alive. No more excuses. Quick, I gotta do it right now. Three, two, one. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Come on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And whoa. Oh my gosh. Mongo, Axie, are you guys okay? What happened? <laughs> What was that? Uh, wait, no way. You guys are back to normal. Check it out. You guys were just aliens and I had to build you guys a brand new UFO. But I guess because you're back to normal, I won't need to anymore. Uh, why do I have a craving for turtle flesh, though? Wait a second. Why am I thinking of shabara dabara cheese? Uh, Monko, what are you doing? Please tell me you guys aren't gonna turn back into aliens. Oh, gosh, what's happening? Oh, gosh, I got it wrong! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then watch it in the video on screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Bye.